it's Jay, and today I'm here with the Olympics book tag. I haven't actually watched that much of the Olympics this year, other than like running races and a little bit of basketball. So, you know, I probably have no right to do this tag, but it's happening. It was originally created by The Secret Stack, so I'll leave his link down below if you want to check it out. I wasn't actually tagged by anybody, but without further ado, let us get started. The first question is opening ceremony, and you need to pick a book with an incredible opening. I'm going with Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. This is the first book in the Infernal Devices trilogy. Which is the like in-between series of the Mortal Instruments. You all probably know this, so I don't know why I'm telling you. Basically, the opening is Will Herondale fighting a demon. I thought it was pretty cool. The first sentence is the demon exploded in a shower of ichor and guts. So like, instantly got me hooked because I love me some demon guts. So, highly recommend this series if you haven't read it already, which you probably have because everybody and their mother has read the series except me. But I'm almost done it now. I'm gonna read Clockwork Princess this month, I swear. Question two is The Games, and it is what is your favorite fictional competition? And I'm going with The Hunger Games from The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. I loved these books. I thought they were so good. The concept of the whole Hunger Games thing, totally creepy and like not cool, but also like super cool. Would never want it to actually happen in real life. But the idea of it is kind of interesting, I thought at least. Question three is the original. Modern games are based on the Greek originals, so you have to pick a book that is based on a classic. I don't know if this counts, but I'm going with it. And it is going to be the entire Lunar Chronicles series by Marissa Meyer. This is a retelling of Cinderella and the other books, Scarlet and Cress and Winter, have tie-ins from other fairy tales. I don't know if Cinderella would be considered a classic, but we're gonna we're gonna say that it is. We're gonna say that it is, and therefore that is my answer. Question number four is the internal flame. You need to pick one ship that you will not let die, even though the books have told you that it's never gonna happen. And if you've been on this channel for a while, you should know what mine is. Super creepy, don't care. It is Gemma and Ty from Stolen by Lucy Christopher. I want them together so badly, I know it's creepy. I don't really care. I love them, and it's obvious that they aren't together, but I want them to be, so... This is my eternal flame. I love them so much. Question five is gymnastics, and you have to pick a book with so many plot twists that it left your head spinning in a good way. And I am going with City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. This book had so many turns, I was reading it, and I was sitting there like... Oh, it just happened. Okay, that just happened. Okay, that just happened, and I was like so mind blown the entire book. This is my favorite in this series so far. I've only read the first three, so I can't really say that it's my favorite overall, but so far from what I've read of the Mortal Instruments, this is my shit. This is my shit. Question six is the controversial judge. You need to pick a book that you have a totally different opinion on than most people do, and I'm going with You by Caroline Kepneys. A lot of people didn't like this book because they thought that Joe was super creepy. Which I agree with. He is a very creepy character. But I loved him so much. Like, he made me so happy, which is honestly really creepy. This is actually kind of weird because I think Gemma and Ty should be together and then I like the other stalker guy, so like clearly my mind is messed up. But I loved Joe and I love this book. I have a review of it if you want to check it out. It was so good. I listened to it on audiobook. Highly recommend listening to it on audiobook. Question number seven is beach volleyball. What is your favorite fictional duo? And I am going with Will Herondale and Jem from the Infernal Devices trilogy. I love them together. They are so cute and so funny and just their love for each other makes me so happy. Question number eight is weightlifting and this is your biggest book on your bookshelf and I'm going to say that it is Winter by Marissa Meyer. It's like 800 pages. I don't actually have the book because my mom is reading it right now so I don't physically have it. I just have a dust jacket. But it's a pretty hefty book so we're going with Winter. Question number nine is you're supposed to tell your favorite Olympic sport. My favorite Olympic sport is basketball. We should all know this by now. You're supposed to pick a book that you flew through with world record speed, and I'm just gonna go with the entire selection trilogy by Kira Cass. I read each of these books in a night, so it took me three days to get through the entire series. I loved these books. They were absolute garbage, trash, but they were so entertaining, and I flew through them so easily. Question number 10 is synchronized swimming, and you need to pick a book series that you kept on reading, but you don't actually know why. And I am going with the Incarnate series by Jodie Meadows. I hated these books. Like, I did not like them at all. But the covers were so pretty that I was like, you know what? They gotta get better. No book has this pretty of a cover if they're this bad. But they, they did not get better. 
but I read them all. So, good job, Jan. Question number 11 is The Tortured Fan, and this is supposed to be a group or organization, nation, yada yada yada, that you continue to support even though you don't know why. How many times they break your heart, you still support them. And I'm going to say a person, even though, like, that's not technically part of the question, but we're going with it. And it is James from The Magician by D.A. Poopa. He is so evil, such a little prick. But I love him so much. Being inside his head is so fascinating. I personally would love to meet him, even though he'd probably kill me, which I'm okay with because he makes me happy. So, I love me some James. Question 12 is closing ceremony, and you need to pick a book with an ending that blew your mind. I'm going with Dead to You by Lisa McMahon. If you've been on my channel for a while, I've talked about this book before. The cliffhanger is ridiculous in this book. And the thing is, it's a standalone book. There's never going to be another book in this series, even though it's not a series. So, like... I'm stuck with this, this ending, and I'm not happy about it. Not happy. And question 13 is Relay Race, and it is who do you tag? And I tag everybody who's watching this video. So, do the tag please. Thank you. Yay! Alright guys, so that was the Olympics book tag. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!